Hello everyone. I am Dr. Vivek from Naseem Medical Center, Alrayan Branch. Well, today it's a World Osteoporosis Day, so I'll be speaking something about osteoporosis. Now, what is osteoporosis? As patients know, it's thinning of bone and doctors call it as low density of bone. Now, in osteoporosis, generally uh, why we need to talk about it is uh, it's very commonly found and it commonly affects uh, patients more than age of 40. Uh, females are commonly affected because of that and uh, it has a certain uh, morbidity which increases or puts the patient at risk with their bone health. So osteoporosis as such we see one in two females or one in four males. It's that common and uh, we generally don't have any signs uh, for this problem. Uh, that's why it's uh, otherwise called as the silent disease also. Now the commonest problem that we face because of osteoporosis is that they develop fractures and these fractures lead to problems like permanent pain or uh, having disabilities. Now because of the disabilities and this permanent pain patients go into depression and they finally uh, find it very difficult to cope up with the, uh, with the problem. So uh, what are the things that uh, we can actually do to prevent uh, osteoporosis? We can take calcium, calcium supplementation. We can uh, start taking vitamin D uh, supplementation or expose ourselves to sunlight. Thirdly, we can improve uh, our daily activities as in do exercises which will help in the blood circulation of the bone. And fourthly, most important, since we're talking that this problem is arising in uh, older patients to uh, prevent falls. Uh, as we say, prevention is better than cure. What uh, we can do is avoid wearing long uh, dresses uh, which can get stuck in between your feet and you can fall. So not to have toys uh, at home which are lying down on the floor, we can make sure that there are no carpets. Where older people are staying, avoid putting big carpets uh, which will you know, restrict their mobilities or increase the potential to have a fall. So uh, there are other diseases where, uh, which can affect or there are certain medicines which can affect or cause osteoporosis. So there is, a, there is a list of problems that we can post on the net which you can take a printout of and if any of those checklists are coming positive, kindly come and show us the report and we can help you out further with that. Thank you so much.